So hi everybody and welcome to this week's video of RBX Excel videos. In this video we are going to create a dynamic chart with checkboxes to show and hide different series in your chart. If you liked the video please give the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Please enjoy. So in this video we are going to create this beautiful dynamic chart with checkboxes. And you see there are three checkboxes for each series and I can uncheck them and you see the series disappears. I can check it again and the series comes back. I can do the same for all the other series in my chart. And you can make a dynamic chart. And to make the chart we're going to another sheet where I have the same table. The first step is to add a column after each series. So I have sales, turnover and profit. I'm going to add a column after sales, after turnover and I have a column after profit. What I'm going to do now is insert the checkboxes. I'm going to show you how you can go to the developer tab. And if you don't have the developer tab, you can right click somewhere in your ribbon, say customize ribbon and check the box for the developer tab. Click OK and you have the developer tab. I can say insert and I want to insert a form control. I don't want to insert ActiveX controls. I want a form control, a checkbox. And I'm going to insert it in here. And I'm going to name it sales. And I'm just going to select this one, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V two times. So I have three checkboxes. And this one, I'm going to call that turnover. And I'm going to call this one profit. Now I'm going to right click on this checkbox and I say format control. I'm going to the top control and I'm going to select a cell for the cell link. Click this box, the sales. I'm going to link this to this cell. Press enter. And I want a 3D shading. Click OK. I'm going to do the same for the others. And I'm going to link this one to the cell next to the column header for turnover. Also with 3D shading. I'm going to do the same for the profit. Link this one to the cell next to the column header for profit and a 3D shading. Click OK. Now you can see if I check this box, there comes true in the cell. And when I uncheck it, it's false. I can click turnover true, false true, and false. And for the profit, it's the same. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put this all to true. And I'm going to enter a formula in this column. I'm going to say equal sign if this cell, and I'm going to fix that cell, equals true, then I want to see this value. If not, I want a, an a error message, not available. Close my function, press enter, and I'm going to drag it down. And I'm going to do the same for the other columns. If this cell, fix it, equals true, then this value has to be shown or else a not available error. Also for this one, equal sign if this cell equals true, then this value has to be shown or else a not available error message. Close my function. Drag this one down, drag that one down. And you see I forgot to fix my i3 cell reference. I'm going to do that. Drag it down, and you see when I uncheck the box, there comes error messages in this column. Also for this one, also for this one. Well, I'm going to check all the boxes, and I'm going to insert my chart. And you saw in the example, the sales, it was a line, and the turnover and the profit were bar charts. So I'm going to go to my insert tab, and I'm going to add a bar chart. Placing it here, I'm going to right click, go to select data. And I'm going to add a series. My series name is sales. And my series values is the column with the formula I created. Press enter. I'm going to add another series, which is the turnover. And that is the column I created with the formula for the turnover. Press enter. I'm going to add another series, which is the profit. And that's the column I created for the profit with my formula. Press enter. I'm going to edit my horizontal category axis and press OK. 
Well, you see a chart, and it's not like the chart we saw in the example. You saw the sales was a line chart. So I'm going to right click here and I click change chart type. And I want a combo. I want a combination of two types of charts. The sales, that was a line chart. The turnover, a clustered column, and the profit, also a clustered column. And I want the sales on a secondary axis. Press OK. That's because of the scale. These are all high values and the sales are lower values. So the line wouldn't be visible if it's not on the secondary axis. You can change that later by selecting the line, press Ctrl 1, and click the secondary axis in here. Now this is much more like the chart we saw in the example. We saw there were green bars and orange bars, so we are going to change that. So these orange bars must be green. So click in your chart on one of the orange bars, press Ctrl 1, go to the fill in line, and I want a solid fill, light green, a little bit darker. And I want a solid line, which is dark green, of one and a half points. And the gray bar, it needs to be orange. Select it, press Ctrl 1, go to the fill in line, a solid fill, light orange, and a solid line, which is dark orange. And also here, one and a half points. Another thing I'm going to change is the gap width. So again, select one of the series, press Ctrl 1, and go to the series options. The gap width, I want it for around 50%. So I have much wider bars. Close this window. I'm going to make my chart a little bit wider and a little bit higher. I want to adjust also my axis. So select the axis, go to the home tab on my ribbon. I want it bold, a little bit bigger, like this. And also my other axis, a little bit bigger, bold. I want a green text. Also for this one, I want a green text. And the same for this axis, a little bit bigger, bold, and a green text. Well, you see, this is the chart that we want. And I can already show you, when I uncheck the sales box here, my line is disappearing. I can get it back by selecting my checkbox. The same for the profit and the turnover. I'm going to add a chart title. Just click somewhere in your chart, click the plus sign, and click the chart title. I'm going to call this one Furniture Sales. I want this also bold, a little bit bigger, and a green color. And I'm going to change the position to the left top corner. Now we need to place these checkboxes in our chart, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You saw there were in the corner of my chart, in the right upper corner, there were three checkboxes with a nice background. So now I'm going to show you how to make these backgrounds for these checkboxes. Go to your insert tab on your ribbon, go to shapes, and insert a rectangle with rounded corners. I'm going to insert it here. I'm going to adjust the shape a little bit. And I'm going to select the shape, go to shape format, and I want a blue fill and a dark blue outline. And I want an outline of one and a half point. And now I can put my sales checkbox into my shape and you see it's invisible. And to show it again, I'm gonna select my shape, right click and click send to back. Now my sales checkbox is visible again and I'm gonna place it nicely into my shape. And I'm going to do this for the other two checkboxes a little bit faster. And what I'm going to do now is select my checkbox, hold my control key and select my shape. So you selected them both, you right click and you say group. Now I can move the checkbox and the shape as a group. I'm doing the same for the other two. And now I can place these in my chart. Again, it's on the background, it's invisible, so select my chart, right click, click send to back, so my shape is visible again, it's on the foreground. Just place them roughly in your chart, 
we're going to align them later and I'm going to show you a trick to align these boxes, these shapes. I selected one shape, hold my control key and I'm going to select all the other shapes. So I selected them all three, go to your ribbon to shape format, go to align and first I'm going to align them on the top so they are horizontally aligned. Now I'm going to align again and I say distribute horizontally. Well, I'm going to remove my outline of my chart, select the chart, press Ctrl 1, go to the fill in line and say no line. Close this one. And now I have my chart with checkboxes which makes my chart dynamic. Just check it and uncheck, check it and uncheck. You can check the different series to show them or hide them. And of course we want to hide the columns with this information that the chart needs. And we can do that, but I'm going to show you what happens when I just hide these columns. Click hide and you see my chart is empty. So Ctrl Z. And to fix the problem, just select your chart, right click, go to the select data, click the hidden and empty cells button, and select the checkbox for show data in hidden rows and columns. Select it, press OK, press OK. And let's see if I hide these columns now. My chart stays the same. So this is the end result and this is your dynamic chart with checkboxes to show and hide your different series. So that's the way you can create this beautiful dynamic chart with checkboxes. I hope you learned a lot and that you can create your own dynamic chart with checkboxes. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.